Hi, video number 11. Assessment of the 11th parameter in the assessment of a fish disease outbreak. By now you've been through just about every element of water quality that can be covered reasonably. We have not talked about carbonates, have not talked about alkalinity, we have not talked about ground fault, electricity lightning strike, chemical intoxications. Oh, I don't know, there's enough there to fill a book. But what we're going to talk about right now is item 11 in the end, assessment of a fish health outbreak is temperature. And we've talked a lot about temperature already because it relates to so many other things like crowding, like the toxicity of ammonia, like the oxygen levels, especially oxygen levels. So let's get started. Temperature. Assessment of the temperature. That's going to be among the first questions I ask somebody who calls me on the phone and says, my fish is sick, what should I do? I want to know whether the water's really cold because I want to know if the fish's immune system is going to help me with this. I want to know whether the water's really cold so I can tell whether or not the fish probably have or probably have not been eating. Um, I want to know whether the water's really warm because really warm water doesn't oxygenate very well. So in really warm water, those fish are probably oxygen deprived, and the owner would be advised to increase oxygenation, air stone, circulating pump, whatever, or to cool the pond down. But there's other factors relative to temperature that don't immediately come to mind. For example, if the pond is very cold, beneficial bacteria in that system aren't going to work very well to break down ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Beneficial bacteria require a certain optimal temperature to benef beneficially break down the compounds in their water. If the water's too warm, the bacteria aren't getting enough oxygen in all probability, and if the water's too warm, water quality can deteriorate because those beneficial bacteria are getting choked out. Let me explain that. In one of the treatments, for example, of a disease, namely white spot, the advice has always been to increase the temperature. It hastens the life cycle, makes it easier and faster to kill white spot. Well, if you raise the temperature to 78 to 82 degrees, that's fine. But some people think if you raise the temperature higher, it's better. That's not true. The reason being is when you raise the temperature too much, oxygen levels drop. Beneficial bacteria start to suffer for that lack of oxygen. Water quality starts to deteriorate. Or when water gets really cold, beneficial bacteria hate that too. So, for example, they recommend in the fall and winter feeding fish um, wheat, ba uh, like when I say wheat based, wheat based or winter based, which happen to be wheat based. Uh, diet foods that are easy to digest because when water's cold, uh, the fish's digestive system is subpar, let's say. But also when the water's really cold, the beneficial bacteria in the system also functional in a, function in a subpar fashion. So if you were feeding high heavy protein food in the fall and winter, the beneficial bacteria in the system are cold and they're not going to break down that ammonia and nitrite as well. So what you're looking for is a diet in the fall and winter, above 55 degrees or in that neighborhood, uh, that it doesn't have a lot of nitrogen in it, keeps the energy up, lots of carbohydrate, and is easy for the filter and the fish to break down. Cheerios. So water temperature kind of matters, not just to the fish, not just to oxygen carrying capacity. Fish immune system and beneficial bacterial function all relate to water temperature. So you see it's not something that you can just kind of blow off really. Um, so we need the temperature to be known for dissolved oxygen and um, immune system reasons mainly, but also the uh, function of the beneficial bacteria. If I think of anything else, I'm going to subnote it in the comments section of this video and add it. But I think, by and large, that about covers it for temperature. Let's move on to number 12.